Friday. Woo! Work is over with. It's a beautiful day out. Look at this. Look at this sun. Look at that. Just look at it. Just look at it. It's a fucking beautiful day, yo. Um, yo, man, battle rap is uh, messy per usual. <laughs> uh, we got more drama with Easy the Block Captain's card involving True Foe, um, Swamp. Holmesy, Gwitty gets jumped uh, by some girls and some guys, and uh, all this makes for a great episode of Cha 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 on the drive home. So, first thing, uh, True Foe, oh dog, what up, what up? Uh, True Foe backs out of the card with Easy to Block Captain. Citing that he's getting paid more, he has a more lucrative deal, and you know, even though he signed the contract, he's gone. I think it's grimy because once you sign a contract with somebody, right, you you're kind of giving them your word. Like no matter what's going on, no matter if I have a death in the family, no matter if I crash my car, no matter if I have the wrong plane ticket, whatever the fuck, right? You're saying you're gonna be at the event. So that's something I don't really respect about that. And I think is really shady towards easy to block captain from True Fold. Now, True Fold, yes, that's what he's going by now. <laughs> so, but you know, I see a little bit of the other side too. All right, he's getting paid more money. Maybe he doesn't have another stream of income, whatever, right? But either way you look at it, man, it's just it's just nasty work. It's grimy, right? And it's URL is using you as a pawn to sabotage Easy to Block Captain's event. Now, Easy, you also fucked up because you shouldn't have been trying to get URL's artists on your card. All right, you was trying to be slick. You're trying to be slick, Easy. You, you thought you were gonna do some funny shit. You're gonna have all these URL battlers on your card, and you were gonna have this successful event. And ha ha ha, URL. I can still do what I want, and I don't have to be on your league. No, they shut that shit down. And you being involved in battle rap for as long as you've been involved, you should have knew that shit was gonna happen. You should have known that. You should have seen that shit coming a mile away. You should have known that, all right? Swamp, all right? You know Swamp is one of their main gunners now. Yeah, he may not be under contract, but who else is booking Swamp? Nobody else is booking Swamp right now, all right? And, um, but those guys aren't signed. That's true. They are signed. That's true. And I think that's why Easy went after those guys because he saw that they weren't signed. But, oh, dog. Do you think it was smart for him to get those artists even though they weren't on the contract? Do you think that was a good idea? Because um, I think it was really risky, man. I think it was really risky. Yes, we would love to see Rosenberg Raw versus Swamp because Rosenberg Raw is really high up in RBE. Swamp is really high up in URL. And we all are suckers for URL RBE clash. We we love that, right? We love to see it. But do you think that was a good idea? Trying to get Swamp? I don't know. I don't know. I think, like, yes, yeah, Swamp was the only bad idea because he's top tier. Yeah, I think that was a bad idea, man. Because uh, he is one of their top tiers, right? And, and, and Easy to Block Captain is the Ops, right? He's, he's the Ops, right? He's the Ops now. <laughs> um, that that part was wild. I for sure knew that battle wasn't going down. But for them to go after True Foe also, that tells me that they are definitely investing in their new talent and they're trying to make a new star. That's what I see. And they're trying to make Swamp a star and they're trying to make True Foe a star. They're trying to make True Foe a star because he beat Geechee Gotti in that tournament. He sent Geechee packing. So that had everybody like, whoa, who the fuck is True Foe? Like, who, who, who is this nigga? You know what I'm saying? So 
if true foe can build off that momentum if he can get some more big names and actually win i think he battled t-top i think and he's claiming he beat t-top if that's true then yeah true foe is on his way of ascension and the url is trying to protect that investment so that i get too i'm also hearing that holmesy the god will not be battling true foe loses too much to to wait what did i say true foe loses too much <laughs> I feel you. I feel you. Um, I haven't seen a T-Top battle, and I don't even know who he battled before that. I haven't seen that battle either. The the last true foe battle I saw was him versus Geechee Gotti. My app stopped working like two months ago, and I just canceled the app. So I think the app is really going to not be on my phone. I think the 26th is the last day. But uh, the app's been fucking up for me for a while, so I, I canceled that shit. Even after the update, it just kept fucking up for me. Um, but I don't know. That That's my only guess, right? But besides that, I think they are trying to protect their talent. Uh, I'm hearing Holmes, he's going to cancel. So that's fucking 60% of the card right there. You know what I'm saying? W what you got left? You got Riggs versus who the fuck, K Walker. And then uh, Easy versus Reed. Um, I also hear that Danny has a new opponent so that's cool i don't know who it is yet i'm sure it'll be announced very soon i'm sure danny's already got a bunch of shit written for it but uh danny myers uh apparently has a replacement battle so it looks like that's still going down so that will mean only 40 percent of the card needs to be made up um but i think it's man i don't think he should be trying to pull talent from the url if these guys been on the url if if you know in the last year don't even touch them don't even touch them there's hundreds hundreds more artists to go after especially if you're just looking for um undercard artists right you could go after some kotd artists you could go after some rbe artists you don't have to go after url artists all right so uh, you know uh, he needs to rethink that he needs to revamp that he needs to reorganize that situation <clears throat> and I, I hear Holmesy's backing out, but I really hope Holmesy doesn't back out because I would love to see Holmesy come back with a good showing. Uh, let me just squeeze in here, my people. Let me squeeze for show. Um, what else we got? Um, Gwitty. Gwitty gets jumped. So we just heard. Gwitty pretty much said he got beat up by about four or five people. Um, you know, Gwitty got his ass kicked, I guess. He was involved with a situation with a girl, and uh, and they jumped him at a liquor store or some shit like that. They beat his ass. He said she punched him five, about ten times. She broke a bottle, was about to stab him. The police got called. He ran. All kind of shit. Um, I don't know, man. It's not looking too good for Gwitty right now. And uh, I don't know, man. I think Gwitty is like, he's interesting. He's funny. He says a lot of quirky shit. He, he says some shit that, that trends for a little bit. But I don't really think he's as good as he keeps saying that he is. Like, I've watched, you know, I watched his one round versus Cortez. I think he only won that battle because Cortez choked. You know what I'm saying? I was watching some other battle of his on DME Detroit's channel via Angry Fan and Qua. And that shit was trash too, man. So I don't I don't understand why fucking Gwitty is so high up on his horse. Like I think all right, now that Gwitty has everybody's attention, I think he needs to humble himself. He's talking about he only wants to battle goods or Averb or all that. Ain't nobody thinking about battling that nigga. Nobody. Ge He's even gotten to it with Geechee, which would be a good preamble for a battle. But Geechee's already like, bruh, we're not even in the same conversation. We're not even in the same dialogue. We're not even in the same fucking, that, like, like, why, like, Geechee versus Gwitty. 
it actually because they have the two letters together it it does have a a, a ring to it Gitchy, gritty, ga, 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 ga. but don't nobody want to see that shit don't nobody want to see that shit but Gwitty got his ass beat I don't know Gwitty get your affairs in order um, maybe have that hat brim stick up for you because that shit is big I don't know dog but uh getting your ass kicked by some girls I don't know man I don't know you, you gotta watch how you moving in these streets <laughs> That nigga said she broke a bottle and tried to stab his ass. Like, what you do to this girl, bruh? What? Gwitty! Gwitty! What did you do to this woman to make her want to stab you with a bottle? I don't know. I don't know what you did, but whatever you did... <laughs> it is not the kind. Um, what else we got going on? Um... Gnome Impact. Gnome is an event that's happening. It's a combination of Gnome and uh, Double Impact. Gnome is a night of main events. Double Impact got popular because of some controversy, right? But now they're combining the event. And to be honest with you, I don't, I mean, I kind of want to just see one-on-one -on -one battles. I, I, I'm not interested. I'm not really interested in them combining the event. I don't like it. I don't like the idea. If you're going to have Gnome, have Gnome. If you're going to have Double Impact, have Double Impact. Gnome Impact doesn't even sound right. It doesn't look right. I don't get it. I don't, I mean, what matches do we even want to see on Gnome Impact, right? I mean, we see that uh, New Jersey Twerk and Rum Nitty claim to be a team, right? But who, who else are we going to see? I'm, I'm sure we're going to see the Bardashians. Now, what would be fire? What would be fucking fire? What would make that card explode? What would give it all the attention that they want is if they bring back K-Shine and DNA. Now, if they bring back K-Shine with DNA, all right. Okay, take my money. Go ahead. Take my money. Because that's what people want to see. That's the highly anticipated group that we want to see. Besides that, we, what what tool? I mean, we're, we're not getting the Briz Rothstein uh, uh, and Murder Mook. We're not going to get that battle. We know that's not going to happen. So, I mean, what are we? Are we going to get uh, Lux and Hollow again? You know what I'm saying? Are, are we going to get Lux and Hollow? What do you What do you guys think? What, who Who do you guys think we're going to get? What are you interested in seeing? Because I'm not interested in seeing much. I mean, I would love just a, a clean gnome event, one-on-one -on -one battles versus some main event battles. That would be nice because we've been getting a lot of lackluster bullshit. Even though I understand they're trying to develop their talent, so they got the old guys versus the new guys, and they're trying to expand that way. But really, like, I mean, what are we? What are we? What are we really checking for? Why are we interested? It's going to be an expensive card. Hopefully, it's going to stream live on Caffeine so that we can see it. But who are we really who are we really looking for on that? Who are we really checking for? I don't know. I want to know what you guys think. Who, who do you want to see on Gnome Impact? They should have just fucking scrapped one or the other. They should have either scrapped Gnome or scrapped the Double Impact. Because I don't, I don't even remember if they did a Double Impact last year. I don't, I don't remember them doing it. The... the the biggest two-on-two -two event or situation I remember is uh, New Jersey Twerk and Shotgun Shug, and Shotgun Shug fucking, you know, does a slam dunk, right? That was, that might have even been longer ago than I think, but um, I don't know, man. I, I, I'm not really interested in seeing that shit, really, but you bring back K-Shine and DNA, all right, take my fucking money. I don't give a fuck. Take it! Take that shit! Because uh, that's what the people want to see. Um, what else going on in Battle Rap? Um, man, there's still a lot of talk about Murder Mook and Big K. Um, it just came out that allegedly Big K <clears throat> stole some bars. But honestly, 
I think it's just a desperate attempt by Murder Mook to try to say that he won, you know, because I don't think Big K stole any bars. And if he did steal a bar and he stole the one bar, whoop the fucking do, right? It happens all the time. I think uh, I think Big K proved himself, and I think Murder Mook just needs to accept the defeat. He needs to sit down and he needs to come back against somebody else when he's ready, when he's charged up. But I don't think, you know what I'm saying, trying to say that Big K stole a bar, trying to discredit the shit about um, his, his, his uh, manager being a cop or some shit like that. You know, it just looks, it looks messy, but at the same time, I feel like Murder Mook is doing the same thing that Hitman Holla did which is make sure that there's so much controversy around this battle, make sure there's so much attention on this battle, make sure there's so many eyes, make sure people just are salivating and can't wait to see the battle that didn't buy the pay-per-view or the VOD. I think that's what Mook is doing. And if that is what he's doing, that's, that's really a vet move. It's really a vet move. It's gonna make sure that that battle is the numbers. It's gonna make sure that Mook has got another check lined up, and it's just going to be, uh, it, it's good advertising. I mean, I didn't like that Hitman Hollow was crying for two weeks until the battle came out, right? He was just crying online, oh, oh, it's going to look better on cam, it's going to look better on cam, all that shit, like, it was annoying, but it sold the fucking battle, it sold the battle. Right? The shit got a million views in like a day and a half. It sold the battle, right? I mean, even though the battle was already highly anticipated, people were going to watch it. Now everybody's even more involved. And I think that unless Murder Mook is just completely in his feelings, which I would like to know what you guys think about that too, is Mook just completely in his feelings? Or is Mook being smart and just putting more attention on the battle, right? getting people more hyped up about the battle because there are people that are saying Mook 1. There's people that are saying Mook 2-1. There's people saying Mook 3-0. I don't believe that, right? I would lean more towards the 2-1 the either way, but the consensus is Big K-1. So he could just be marketing. He could already know he lost. He probably already has his next two, opponent, next two opponents because um, ARP said that he was uh, he was on a three a three battle deal, so um, we'll see who's coming up with that. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully, Mook is on motherfucking um, Max Out three. I don't know who's gonna be on Max Out three. That card's gonna be crazy because I mean, how do you go? How do you have a bigger card than Mook and King Los on the same card? Those are two big names. The only way you're going to overcome that, I think, is if you have Hitman Holla and Cassidy or Hitman Holla and Mook or Mook and Cassidy on Max Out 3. Let me know who you guys think is going to be on that. Um, I'm going to pull up to the hut, watch this Warriors uh, versus Lakers game. Hopefully we keep it going. Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Pick up your tickets on Eventbrite um, if you're in the Bay Area or nearby. Um, we got Names No Bodies, Be Nasty versus Thesaurus, Reverse Live versus Daniel Blackton, Next versus Lucky, Nexus versus Rashad, uh, Van B versus Sasquatch Josh, and Kilowatts versus Captain Autism. Be safe this weekend. I'm out this booch. Kick, 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 kick.